In 2 Peter chapter 1, Peter writes this. He says, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. For if you practice these virtues, you'll never be barren nor unfruitful in the full intimate knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's one of my favorite portions of scripture in the Bible. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Camby, and I just want to share briefly what to expect if you were to attend the Lamplighter Guild for Creative Disciplines this July 12th through 17th. Now that verse I just quoted means everything for the guild this year. The word add to your faith is a very unique word. It's the only time it's found in the Bible. It's the word korageo or the word choreography. It, this year at the Lamplighter Guild, we're going to present a platform of opportunity to choreograph your life in such a way that you'll be able to go from there and present the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the giftedness that God's given you to the world. Now that's a very interesting idea that you're going to be able to use your giftedness and then go out and represent the character of God in your life. First of all, the Guild is a renaissance of creative excellence that inspires one to know God intimately, proclaim Him passionately, and enjoy Him infinitely. If you were to attend the Lamplighter Guild this year, here's what you can expect. In the dramatic arts, we have in voice acting, Rich Swingle, who was one of our actors in The Giant Killer and Eagle's Nest. And if you've never attended any of Rich's class, he's an amazing teacher. In our stage acting class, we have Logos Academy returning, and anyone that heard anything about the play of Esther last year, that was outstanding. Then we have Dan Schaubauer coming returning for script writing. That's going to be a real treat for us. And as well as in our sound design, Alan Hurley, who's done most of the Lamplighter Theater dramas. Alan's going to be doing music as well as sound design. And if you've never attended one of Alan's classes, he is a master. You can look forward to photography. Kim Winey's returning again. I, every time I watch her photography, when we do the slide presentation at the end, I'm in tears. In filmmaking, we're going to produce a short film dealing with a theme, Overcoming Fear by Faith. In horticulture, we have master teacher Noah Sanders returning for the third year. Very excited about that. You should have seen the gardens that they created last year. This year, we're bringing back culinary. Also, we're going to be able to use the new cafe that Lamplighter has just built here at the, um, at the headquarters. So that's all going to be part of the, um, of the guild um, culture this year. In visual arts, we have master teacher Lisa Mystic returning. Take a look at some of the work that they did last year under Lisa's instruction. The mural that's in the bell tower, um, three-fourths of it done. We're going to finish it this year as well as an emphasis on oil painting. Last but not least, my favorite class, Biblical Theology. Learning not just on what the Bible says, but how it says it and how it means. Pastor Colin Smith and I will be teaching Biblical Theology. And this year we're going to be going through the structure of Proverbs chapters 1 through 9, Isaiah 55, Philippians chapter 2, and the book of Jeremiah. This is a year that if you've never attended the guild, and let's say that you're not interested in the dramatic arts or visual arts, but you're interested in Bible, I would highly recommend attending this year. We just did a 30-day class on biblical theology. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in the Bible, and the eight students that attended would say the same things. So as you contemplate and prayerfully consider attending the Lampletter Guild this July 12th through 17th, I would ask you to read 2 Peter chapter 1. And see if God is creating a passion within you to give all diligence and add to your faith virtue and knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. For if you practice these virtues, which you'll have an opportunity to do here at the Lamplighter Guild, you'll never be barren nor unfruitful in the full intimate knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Dr. Mark Camby, and I can't wait to see you at the 10th anniversary of the Lamplighter Guild. Yes, sir!